everyone. I'm Gigi, and you know, this is my mom, Ro, and we're, we are reviewing Off the Record. <laughs> so everybody introduce yourselves to the people. Hey, well, my name is Lachelle, and um, I am just so grateful to be part of the Gigi and Ro team. I am the book club contributor. I read a lot of books. I actually do story times Tuesday through Thursday on Facebook and we read story books and then at 7 30 we read from a chapter book. So I am all things books. Love books and just honored to be a part of the team. Hello everybody. Um like Miss Miss Lachelle said I'm Candace. This is my daughter Mia. Big old 18 over here. Um I'm glad Rhonda uh, invited us to come on and do the book review. I'm normally a horror book uh, reader, so this is different for me. So, but it was a good difference. How about you, Mia? It was good. <laughs> I I just don't be reading. So. <laughs> and this is Aspen. Hi. Aspen seventeen, and um, this is our first book club venture and we're very happy to be there so thank you for inviting us i thought the book was very interesting um i won't go into details until we, where you know we start discussing but um i thought it was very interesting and ask what did you think it was nice <laughs> hello i'm antoinette my daughter tamara she's very shy i really liked it actually um yeah and Guess we'll go into some of the other things later so welcome everybody and thank you for coming so lachelle do you want to go ahead and start us off um you and jillian can Morning. take it away okay all right so off the record i do have a i have a few tabs in my book and the first question that i guess maybe i have is and I think everybody gave a little bit about how they felt about the book was your overall feeling um, of reading the book. What was your overall feeling either when you got done or while you were reading? What type of emotions did you have? And I can tell you that when I was reading it, I kept saying, I can't believe this young lady is only 17. For me, it was a lot, I thought, that was put on her to be so young. But I realized that maybe in today's time, our young women go through so much and do have a lot of things put on them. So I kind of felt her anxiety a lot. So um, I'll start with Candace and Mia. You guys are right next to me on the screen. So just know I'm going to pick on y'all first. <laughs> so just if you could just let us know how you felt emotionally when you were reading. Oh, really? You don't want to go first? I think like, like you said, it felt like it was a lot for somebody that young, but then seeing how even hearing the stories of them in school and things that they go through or stuff that their friends go go through. It wasn't that much of a shocker. Somebody, I feel like somebody who doesn't have any kids or, uh, that age around them may may think like, well, this isn't really realistic. But honestly, it, it does seem very realistic uh, during this time and age. Um, I did feel like you can see a lot of the like the anxiety a lot of kids deal with. Like, yep, I got one over there now on the, on the other side of the house. Just does not want to deal with people. She's all off to herself, so I, so I get it. I, it was a lot of, I can see a little bit of a kid that I know in Josie. Um, I did feel at the end, it wasn't finished. I was like, what what, what happened to old boy? <laughs> Do we know what happened to him? So I, I was kind of like, okay, maybe it's gonna be another book. <laughs> but I felt like it should have been like something, maybe like, okay, but, well, I, I'll wait, since we're not there yet. <laughs> you got anything, Chandler? Not really, kind of said it all, yeah. <laughs> I guess uh, Monique and Aspen, your turn. Um, I thought it was um, it was good to see how she went from being an insecure young lady to more confident in like a span of two weeks because she really experienced a lot in that two week period. Um, you know, she did, she had an experience of a lifetime um, being so young. Um, but she was very talented, but she, she really had to do with some, deal with some heavy stuff. 
Um, so I, I, it was good to see her kind of um, her grow from some of the things that she was struggling with and kind of push through with that anxiety. Um, Cause I know that could be something that can make it, make or break you. So I was really glad to see her really work through that, especially as a teenager. Cause um, you know, she, she dealt with some things where that were very disappointing for her. And, you know, you could see how her family, how her sister kind of helped her to kind of get through that. Um, so I definitely like that family dynamic piece that was involved in it as well. Aspen, how about you? What, what do you think? Um, I thought the book was like, in some ways relatable, like since I guess I'm around that age and like, I understand what she's going through kind of, but like not, not in the whole like um, making articles type of situation, but like with everything else, like anxiety and like, what's going on in the teenage years and like everything like that. But yeah, it was kind of relatable. I definitely could relate to the story, right? Like as soon as I started reading because I have anxiety issues myself. And so I could really relate to that being a young person just like my whole life. Um, but I know that just like in college and stuff, you know, um, you know, having to like kind of break out of my shy shell, you know, like even now to just be able to talk on here is really something for me <laughs> because I just can't imagine like her age, you know, um, being able to like just get up and talk in front of people, just how debilitating that really can be. Like just, you know, all those feelings, like, I mean, she nailed that anxiety disorder really well. Okay. So I'm not sure what I felt emotionally when reading the book because I feel like what she was going through and her thinking process is kind of how I think and how I act. So when reading it, it was just like, oh, hey, I act the same way or I can relate to her. I'm not sure how I felt emotionally, but I thought it was really surprising and how I saw myself in Josie a lot and a lot of the situations when she would go through something or when she would talk about her anxiety or when she would have to get up and speak and how she didn't know what to say exactly. And then when it just didn't all work out, she just wants to melt from embarrassment. I felt that because I don't know, I feel like myself all the time at school and it's humiliating, but it was, it was amazing for me to see myself in Josie because I was never able to see myself with, in a character before. So I'm happy about this. What about you? Yeah, I thought I could, I could totally relate to Josie. Um, I, I know a lot of people think like now I'm like this really outgoing person, but I'm really not. I have to make myself, I'm, I'm more of a homebody and I prefer to be in small groups. However, uh, there are times when I know that I have to speak in front of people, like on panels and things like that. I I actually channel that alter ego, and that's how I'm able to get through it. This book also had a lot of different, uh, I'd say, issues or challenges that were brought up. The main one that I no noticed first off was anxiety. Um, there was weight issues. There were um, sibling challenges. Um, there was uh, the striving to be perfect, I thought, on Josie's part, which I think a lot of us do. And, um, and working as a teenager. Were there any other issues that you guys thought were brought up in the book that just stood out to you? If not, you can just shake your head no, and we can just move on. But those are some of the things that jumped out at me. And I was like, whoa, okay. Especially the part about not being a perfect size two 
So, um, and I, I really thought that uh, Cameron did a really good job of focusing on that for just a little bit. So does anybody else have any type of things that jumped out at them that the author brought to our attention? Well, for me, it was the anxiety and um, caring a lot about what other people think of her and mm -hmm. uh, just not wanting to embarrass yourself and making sure you get it right on the first time because you know if you don't get it around right the first time then you got to deal with the embarrassment and like for me and it seems like for Josie as well when she embarrasses herself it doesn't go away immediately it's like it just lingers for a while and so I was able to that's something that stood out to me was the anxiety and then also when she you know didn't feel comfortable in her Skin, like in her body she felt like she was too big and that the clothes she would wear just didn't complement her figure so let me say this the one thing that stood out to me was her being assaulted in the bathroom and how she never got past that and um the second thing was you know the body image i would add um i guess what stood out to me um was when she started to investigate um, and um, interview some of the women who had been assaulted, um, she was trying to find, um, well, there was one woman of color that she knew um, had been assaulted and she, and she really felt it was important for that woman to share her voice because so often um, women of color's voices are left out. So I thought that was a that was really important. I thought that was a really important piece. Uh, to add on what you said about how um, your eyes are like something that you can see or something like if you don't see my eyes or how big they are, like you don't see me. I feel like that goes the same with like how um, Josie was talking about how the um, di the director what is his name Lennox. Mm -hmm was talking about um, when Josie says something about uh, not using black people in his movies or something like that. It's like, and the director was talking about like, why do you have to make everything about race? And it was like, if you don't see someone's blackness, you don't see them. Wait, aspirin. Okay, girl. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I would say just a piggyback off of Rhonda when uh, she was talking about she didn't really feel like the mom or the family said anything much about her weight. I felt like they kind of did a little bit. Like when the mom would kind of tell her, like, hey, uh, eat this or watch what. Like she didn't really want to, she always felt some type of way when her mom did, did kind of put her on the spot like that. Um, I think the mom in her own kind of way was trying to help her out without making her feel bad, but it also made her feel bad. Um, you got anything? Anything else you want? Um, I was just saying, like, she, they were basically trying to be like, oh, you're not fat, you're not big, whatever. And she was like, I am big, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Okay, there's some snaps for you, girl. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, you know, I just think it's so wonderful. I do get happy a lot, y'all, by the way. But when young women are able to voice how they're feeling, especially when reading these books. I just get so happy and I thank y'all so much for contributing because it really does mean a lot. And you know what you just said will help someone else maybe pick this book up and read what you were talking about. So thank you for giving us your voice. I appreciate it.